Alright guys, I need to solve my storage issue. Like, I I'm running out of storage in here. Um, I could put stack upgrades in a lot of these chests. Um, but even in this guy, you know, I got a gold stack upgrade in here and it's starting to fill up as well. I I'm just having an, I'm having an issue of where to put all my stuff. So I started to get into refined storage and I did some research on it and we're going to need a few things like a controller. I want to get a crafting grid and uh, a disk drive and uh, we need at least all three of those things to even get started on storing things through refined storage. And there's a lot of materials that you need for this thing. So luckily I've been collecting some stuff off camera. I got a bunch of silicone, silicone, however you want to say it. To get that, you just need to smelt like uh, quartz. And then I also got uh, quartz enriched iron. Also, all you need is iron and quartz. So I went to the nether and I, and the first thing you see when you go into nether is all this quartzite sand. So I went like, crazy mining on this quartzite sand got as much quartz as i could get my hands on so that because it's it's crucial apparently um we're also going to need a bunch of these machine casings because they come in handy a lot with uh refined storage and basically you just i just took stone and uh coarse enriched iron surrounded by stone in order to use refined storage you need power uh you need this controller and this controller needs power so and what i've decided to go with is this wind generator i'm gonna have quite a few of them uh hopefully it'll hold enough power for as long as i need it to or at least until like i need more power for something else or anything like that but we'll worry about other different types of power uh later on for the time being i just want to deal with the wind generator and uh i'm probably gonna make what i mean maybe four of them um something like that uh but in order to do that you need an infused alloy and the only way to make an infused alloy is to have an, a, a metallurgic infuser i can't pronounce anything in this mod pack i swear to you um but it's pretty easy to make you just need two furnace iron and redstone dust so let's go ahead and make that right now all right we got a metallurgic i metallurgic infuser i hope hopefully that's how you say it i don't know but i got it now um for the time being i'm just gonna put this in a random spot we're also gonna work on the design of the storage room as well because i'm not really liking this too much okay so this thing needs power i guess before you make power you need to make power so i'm deciding to go with uh the basic generator and all you need is industrial grade metal and an iron furnace uh with this lv battery but this lv battery uh you need 10 you you can see it you you could probably if you're playing on this you know how to look all this stuff up so i shouldn't have to take you through all this but if you are curious and you have any questions please let me know down in the comments uh when you if you are making this basic generator make sure you make the correct iron furnace because uh, this one is by Iron Furnaces, and this one is FTB Industrial Contraptions. So, just make sure you make the FTB Industrial Contraptions one, not the Iron Furnaces one. But now that we got it, it's pretty simple to set up. All you need to do is put something burnable in here. I already put the iron and the redstone in here, so make sure you put redstone in this and iron in this. And that makes us an infused alloy. Uh, this is going to come in handy for stuff like the windmills like we're making and uh, the other stuff that we're actually going to make so that we can transport the power from the windmills to the refined storage system. So yeah, make sure you make a bunch of them because even with the, even if uh, you need one right here to make these, you need two of them alone. So just make a bunch of them and uh, you should be good. All right, so I finally have the materials to make a wind generator. Heck yeah, spin baby spin. Um, so basically what I'm gonna wanna do is make a few of these just so that I know that I'll have more than enough power to power my refined storage. Also, I'm gonna use this packing tape. Pretty simple, all you need is uh, like a slime ball and a piece of paper, make packing tape. 
and the reason you'd make this is so that you can pick up the items while you pick up the box itself so it, it maintains all of the items in the chest okay so we have four wind generators now and we're gonna need a way to transfer the energy from the wind generator to the refined storage so what we're gonna use is a basic energy cube under each eat uh we're gonna use a basic energy cube under each wind generator and to make that we need more energy tablets and we're gonna need a steel casing which requires uh osmium glass and steel ingot and to get a steel ingot uh well, you would want to get steel dust. So you want to get iron dust, which is a hammer and an iron for an iron dust or double it with raw iron. And then you combine the iron dust with the coal and a hammer to get steel dust. And then you smelt that down, to get steel. Oh yeah, I got enough to make four. So you want to make four of those to go with your four wind generators. Gonna need a bunch more of these. So while I'm waiting for this, I'm I'm gonna start building up the walls and stuff because I'm gonna end up putting the wind generators up there. So I'm gonna uh, deck this out a little bit more, make it a little bit more organized so I know what I'm doing when it comes to doing it. All right, so I put a wall up here, nice and neat. And if I levitate here, you'll see I organized this a little bit. It was a little bit messier before. Now it's a lot more cleaned up. And then up here is where the windmills are going to go. I'm going to go on top of this top one here. And uh, yeah, pump energy down into my refined storage area where I will enjoy it very, very much. Okay, I have enough energy tablets to make the basic energy cube. And I have enough steel casings as well. Uh, let's go ahead and make four more of these. Boom, got four basic energy cubes. Now, what we're also gonna need to transfer the energy are pipes. And I figured using this energy pipe would be perfect. And it only needs iron and redstone, and, you, and it gives you 16 of them. So it gives you quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ensure that I make plenty of these so that I can feed them into the controller of the refined storage okay so now we have the energy part down i believe i don't think there's anything else energy wise that i need to make uh we can actually start getting into the refined storage part of the segment all right so we need a controller and to make a controller we need an advanced processor which we would have to put into a raw advanced processor into a smelting thing in my bob and you need processor bindings you need silicone and in in this case we need diamond and redstone to make this so uh just make sure you have plenty of these processor bindings and silicones to to make all of the advanced processors that you need or want to make in your refined storage i got like two and a half stacks here i have no idea if this is going to be enough or not um, and then, uh, in terms of silicone, I made a whole bunch of them, um, almost five stacks. And luckily I have plenty of diamonds and I have more redstone that I can use. All right. So now I have a controller. So I got two improved processors, uh, from, uh, getting that quest. So make sure you do your quest guys, because it's going to help you out a lot. All right. So I made a grid and I'm... Heck yeah. You make a grid, um, and I like to use a crafting grid so that anytime I jump into the grid, um, I can just craft whatever I want, and it's super handy. You'll see what I'm talking about once I'm done setting all of this up. Now, to store all of your items, you need uh, disks, and in order to use disk, you need a disk drive, as you can see here. So I am going to make this disk drive and I'll show you more on that later once I put the whole contraption together. All right, guys. So I'm going to be putting the refined storage right here. And before I do that, I'm going to start working on this room. And I'm thinking it's going to be more of like a workshop room um, slash storage room. But most of the storage is going to be like over here in this general area. 
I'd say it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up like a roof and ceiling. Um, maybe even a little like support like right here. And I'm thinking of using some arch wood for that. All right guys, so I got the roof up, ready to go. That's sweet. Now uh, we gotta add some support. And like I said, I wanted to use arch wood for that. And I wanna use the yellow arch wood, kinda like that. All right, so I'm actually pretty happy with the way this has turned out so far. Uh, we still have the ceiling yet to do, but we'll have to get to that later because a lot of the materials are in these box, these chests that I packaged up and put in here, and I don't feel like putting them down and picking them back up again. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with the refined storage segment, and then we'll come back around and decorate the rest of this, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we need a controller the disk drive and a crafting grid. And the way that I want this to be set up is I will put this drive here, crafting grid here, and then a little doorway right here. And then also this out and then we'll put the controller there. Now we need to power the controller to power the rest of the grid. So like, see, I can enter it and whatnot, but you can't really do anything with it can't put any items in there or anything uh, especially if you don't have any discs but more importantly it needs to be powered it needs to be powered so we're gonna go ahead and use those wind generators that we made so we'll put one there uh, we'll put two blocks between each one boom we're gonna have to dig down a couple blocks all right so basic energy so these are generating fe or KFE, I guess. There is a, this can hold 192 FE. Uh, so we're gonna put this in here and then it should, yep. It'll start collecting the energy from the wind generator. So we're gonna do that for each one. And then we're also going to take, oh, there's one more thing I remember I need to grab. All right, so when you're messing with pipes, the pipes mod here, uh, make sure you're getting a pipe wrench. You need a pipe wrench. All right, you need a pipe wrench because if you just stick this on here like that, it's going to go in, not suck out. So when you pipe wrench it, shift left click, right click, my bad, shift right click on it, then it's gonna take from it. All right, so make sure you do that. If you're gonna be using these pipes. Also make sure when you're in the basic energy cube that it comes out of the bottom. Uh, I would do input output purple bottom on every single one of these energy cubes because it will pump out energy. Otherwise it will not. <laughs> then you should see this light up, meaning getting power. Now we can just start putting items in here, except not really because we need discs. Now, luckily for me, uh, Oren is a homie and he gave me a 1K storage disc. So 1K storage disc, obviously 1K meaning 1,000. 1,000 items can be stored into here now. So if I just start pumping things in, I can do that. But I don't think that's gonna be enough for the amount of items that I need. I need at least uh, 16,000. I would say. And uh, also, since Oren is a homie, he gave me a 16K storage part, which you need to make a 16K uh, disc, which all you need is a storage housing and a 16K storage part to make a 16K storage disc. So uh, luckily I have already made a storage housing and uh, you guys know what to do. You guys know how to look that up, right? So. I shouldn't have to show you, but I do have one. Yeah, storage housing and 16K storage disc. Oh my gosh, I have, it gave me another one? I completed a quest and it gave me another one. So I can have 32,000 uh, if I put two of these in here. So I just need to make another storage housing, which is super easy to do. Just like that, boom. I have two 16K storage that is hype that is so exciting that is awesome so now i have 33,000 
uh, I can hold 33,000 items into this thing. And you can see how many slots you have, and you can keep putting more in there. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's, I mean, like, dang. I'm actually really shocked that I even got the other 16K storage. So now the next thing I want to make is an importer because it's going to make it 10 times easier to be able to make uh, or to be able to transfer all my items into the refined storage system that I got set up now. And an importer is going to help out a lot. All right, so I'm setting this up like this so that whenever I do place something on here, like say my backpack, but I am going to go with, we'll go with uh, this one. And we can just place this on top. Boom. And it'll start taking out of the chest and going in here. I'm going to go ahead and transfer everything that I have over to here. And then we'll also continue to decorate the rest of this build. Guys, we're going to need even more storage than that. We're already at 30.7K and we only have 33. So we're going to have to add some more discs here to ensure that all the items that I have can fit into this. But I got all the backpacks and everything in here already. Uh, it's so cool. So I could just search backpack. If I ever need a backpack, I have all my backpacks in here. Uh, we'll see. I, I might try to see if I can get a 64K fluid uh, or not fluid, uh, 16K storage disc because it's going to come in handy, especially for the future when I go mining and stuff like that. Uh, so that way I know that I have more than enough space on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. And it might take me a while, so I'll catch you uh, once I successfully do that. All right, guys, so I am finally up. It didn't actually take me as long as I thought it would. I mean, I had some resource gathering to do, but I can finally make a 64K storage disk. Super easy. The crafting grid, that's why you want the crafting grid. It's like, it's like having an inventory and then having um, a crafting table in your inventory and then you can go from here and pick whatever you want. So now I add 64,000 more and now I can 100% have all the items that I have in here. I'll probably end up upgrading more in between episodes just to ensure that when I do go mining and whatnot, I won't have to worry about running out of space. I won't have to worry about running out of space. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer the rest of my items in here. Now I have all the items in my storage room in this one block thing. It's just, oh my God, I'm, I'm lost for words. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is finish this room. Finish this room up, make it look nice, make it look good. Yush, yush. All right, guys, we're done. Finish the new and improved work area. Got a whole new sword system set up. And we're gonna upgrade this thing over time. We're gonna make it look better, add more to it, yada, yada, yada. Anytime that we, you know, pretty much get into a new mod, we might have to make uh, certain you know contraptions like this guy you know we had to make him earlier anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much for watching